Sarah rescued Lottie from terrible conditions at a puppy farm. Six months on, it's Sarah and Jason who need rescuing from their tear-away terrier. Oh, Lottie! I want a nice family dog. I want a nice family dog to take for a nice family walk, and we haven't got one. Oh, Jesus. She's bleeding. Before Victoria lays down the law to Lottie, she'll spend the day observing her behaviour. But Naughty Lottie's got other ideas. Who's that? In, 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 in. <laughs> OK. All right. Wait a second. There you go. Oh, good girl. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to Hello. meet you. Well, that was an escape, wasn't it? <laughs> Hello. All right. We're lucky she wasn't halfway down the road. Yeah, oh, my sure. gosh. Once safely inside, Lottie ah. jumps at the chance she to get to know jacket. Victoria. Great. Well, that's a very excited uh, welcome. <laughs> um... Victoria decides to take charge. Okay. You've got a terrier. I know. I know. You've got a Patadel terrier. And that means a hound with a whole lot of energy. Patterdale Terriers are working dogs, bred to be fox and rat hunters. They're designed to run and they have a natural burrowing instinct. They're highly intelligent and very obedient when trained, but they can be incredibly high energy. Victoria's keen to see what she's like in the great outdoors. Do you want to let her off then? Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. let's see. Wait. It isn't long Lottie. before Lottie gives everyone Lottie. the slip. Lottie! Lottie! Lottie, come on! Lottie! Come here! Whoops, we've lost Lottie, the dog. Come on. How long would you have to wait um, before she would come back to you? 20 minutes, half hour, an hour, hour and a half. Depends how she's feeling and what You've she's doing. You've actually called me and I thought it was getting near dark one time to come and get her. Lottie! Oh, Lottie, what's this? Lottie, come on. Lottie. Oh, we found her again. It's OK. We got over here. This is probably one of the worst cases of recall that I've seen, particularly because um, I think it's, it's actually quite dangerous. Even though we're in the forest, there are roads around here and um, she does run off very far. Sometime later, after finding a secure location with some Lottie-proof fencing, Victoria is armed to the hilt. We know that she is a dog that will just go. Something has to be more exciting for her than chasing the real thing. So whistle means squeaky toy. Good girl, good girl, take it, good girl. Lottie! Using the squeaky toys with a whistle and praise, Victoria creates a strong and positive association with coming back. Go, go, go! Good girl! Good girl! And this time she achieves some impressive results. Good girl! Yeah, but now Sarah must master it. Wait for a lull. Wait. Till she drops it or something. Lottie! What's this? That's it. Lovely. What's this? What's this? What's this? That's it. What's this? Perfect. What's this? Lottie! What's this? Now she's focused on you. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good. Well done. Before Victoria leaves the Keiths to practice training Lottie on their own, she's keen to show them how obedient terriers can really be. She's arranged for a Hollywood film star to tread the boards at the end of the pier. Meet Greyfriars Bobby. He's the one on the left. Dog trainer Jerry Cott's been training dogs for film and TV for over 25 years, and he was also a founding member of the Boomtown Rats. 
His West Highland Terrier here has starred in countless movies. Come here. Stay. 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 Speak. Thank you. Brilliant. Victoria asks Jerry to give Jason some top terrier training tips. The main trick about this kind of beginning this training is, is creating a relationship. You see, we're best pals. Yeah. I don't kind of go, you have to do this, you have to do that. You have... We're pals. And even sometimes when I'm teaching him something, I'll find my voice is just a little bit too hard as okay. opposed to soft. Jerry shows Jason how easy it is to communicate with an obedient dog. You ask him to sit. Sit. Ask him to speak. Speak. <gasps> Good boy. It's been an inspiring trip to the theatre, but Victoria now has to leave the Keiths to two weeks of training practice by themselves. Lottie's door manners are coming along in leaps and bounds. Good girl. And even her recall has improved dramatically. Good girl. Two weeks later, Victoria's back. Will she be impressed with Lottie's progress? Wait. Hiya, come in. Wait. Wait. Good girl. Very good. Good girl. That is amazing. Really good. Very good. I'm very impressed. And she's still sitting there. In their local park, Jason's got one final trick up his sleeve. Lottie, sis, sis, sit. Good girl. Good Very girl. Good. good girl. Good girl. Leave it. Go on then. Good girl. <gasps> Yay! That is really good. Mm. Yeah, sure. And look, he's got a smile on his face. And it's not just Victoria who's over the moon with Lottie's progress. The dog we've got now is amazing. She's more part of the family. I wouldn't think of going out somewhere and not taking her with us now. Do you think she's a clever dog? Yeah. <laughs> the change in her over such a short period of time, it is remarkable. Lottie's behaviour was putting a huge strain on this family previously. But with a little work and a little bit of love, this is now a calmer, happier household and a calmer, happier dog. No, I think it's pretty safe to say that she's, I think she's got a home for life. Good. Definitely. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.